Video into the newsroom of a suspect in the Orinda Halloween party shooting trying to evade police. He's one of these five men arrested yesterday. Deputies describe the crime scene as a bloodbath after roughly 100 partygoers were caught in the crossfire of a rival gang shootout. Investigators tell KPI X5's Da Lin what led to the violence. Da? And Alan, they're still looking for more suspects. Apparently, the sheriff would not say how many more suspects they're looking for in this case. Now, the sheriff says a lot of uh, different people from the two gangs actually went to that Halloween party with guns and bad intention. And today, he also defended his department's handling of that case. Two rival gangs and a wild shootout. There were numbers and numbers of casings all over the floor countertops. The Contra Costa County Sheriff says 32 years on the job, he's never seen a crime scene like it. It was a bloodbath inside the home. Investigators say arguments between rival San Francisco and Marin City gang started in the kitchen of this Arenda Airbnb rental. Someone accused someone of stealing. Then multiple gunmen opened fire. Roughly 100 party goers, some caught in the crossfire, were running for their lives. Jumping over 30 feet over a balcony to escape. Police say of the five people killed, two of them, Raymond Hill and Javelin County, were armed and likely participated in the shootout. Yesterday, detectives conducted police raids throughout the Bay Area and arrested four murder suspects. They released this footage of Shamron Mitchell jumping out of a second story window to try to run from the police. Two other suspects, Jason Isles and Jaquez Sweeney, were basketball players that graduated from Tam and Drake High Schools in 2017. Police also arrested the party promoter, Devin Williamson, for being an accessory. The sheriff says many of these suspects have a violent history. The blame rests specifically on the individuals that carried guns into that party, pulled the trigger, and murdered someone. That's who should have the blame in this case, not the police, not anybody else. Authorities say there was a memorial service for one of the victims, victim Oceana Tompkins, and apparently there was a fight at that service, and police had to go in there to break up that fight. Live in Martinez, I'm Darlene, KPIX 5.